Hi guys, it's Vit from Ice Lock View. Um, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I usually just post photo of the sea slugs I found for my recent trip. But I think um, there are so much more stories, so much more colors about what I did and how I found each of those species. So I just want to actually make a video clip just to you know give you a bit of a bit of background, a bit of things of how I found it. Um, what was it? what was the experience and what happened during the trip basically. So. Um, I just came back from a South Andaman trip, so a trip going down south to Red Rock, Purple Rock, and Lipe Island with Dumbly Diving. Ta da! Tens the shirt. Um, so it was a really great trip. Uh, we get a chance to, to visit many, many places. But um, one of the places that I found a lot of sea slugs that I kind of want to share with you guys today is actually an island called Got Yang, which is actually in um, near Lipe Island. I've been to Got Yang actually multiple times. I've been to Lipe Islands more than like 15 days and, and been diving there quite quite a few times and got yang has actually been one of my favorite dive sites um throughout this entire seasons there are so many sea slugs so many species that you can found on on got yang island and and the diving on this dive site is relatively easy basically it's an island you have a you have a you have a buoy line that comes down to five meters and then after five meters, there's a slope going now all the way to like 20, 25 meters. And, and voila, you just search all your sea slugs at any depth that you kind of want to search. So I think when I went back, when I went first time around like December last year, uh, I found most of the sea slugs on um, around like 13, 14, 15 meters up to like maybe 17, 18. But now in, in April, when I just when I just got, came back from Got Yang, um, the water temperature is a little bit warmer. So I think the sea slug tends to live a little bit deeper and we found a lot more species at around like 20, 25 meters actually. So so this trip, um, I'm following the same pattern. I jumped down um, through the buoy line at five meters. I swim down to like 20 to 25 meters depth and I just start searching. So um, this trip was very lucky. Like the first, I think once I hit around like 80, 90 meters, I found two um, big blue dragon kind of like just standing there. But as far as if, if you know Li Bei, you know like blue, blue, blue dragon was actually quite common. Like you found it in most of the dive sites and you don't find it only one, you find it like plenty, like really, really plenty. But you know, so I went, I was like, oh, okay, this two, this two look kind of common, never mind. But when I looked closely, I found actually fav favoriness um, right in the middle between the two um, blue dragons. So that was pretty cool. You see the picture here. This is a picture of favoriness taken with the blue dragon. Um, actually, there's another one on top of this, but I didn't, t I didn't took it. I just took the two of them together. And then when I swim, so that was a, I think that was a really cool find. Um, then I went down, I tried to search for this specific hydroid that uh, Trinchesia usually eats. Hopefully I could found some Trinchesia. And, and I was very lucky. Like I think while I, while, while I was searching for it, I found Trinchesia SP, uh, very cool color. It's kind of blue, orange, purple, green, uh, yellow. Uh, you know, you see the picture here. Uh, it's a pretty cool species that I, I don't really find I, I actually I've never found it before, so that was pretty cool. And on the same kind of hydroid species, I actually found a head shoe slug um, as well, um, which I actually I've never seen this one before. I really love head shoe slug. I found it to be super cute. Uh, I'm actually gonna search for species of it right now. And yeah, so I found it in that in the same kind of in the same kind of hydroid. At first, it was camouflaging really well. So I actually didn't know what it is. I kind of know that it looks something odd on the um, uh, hydroid. Then once I once I look closely, it's actually Copoda, Copodaspis. I hope that's called. That's how you pronounce it. SP. It's basically this guy. Um, you find a picture here. So that is also another really cool species. And you know, more the more I searched through the area, I found tons of Cabungus SP, um, which is right here. Uh, I found it last time. This time. I found it not more, not only one, I found probably like three or four. So it become quite a common sight um, when you visit Got Yang. And then once they started coming back up, you know, saving the NDL time and coming a little bit closer to the surface, I tend to look for a briar sword that you usually find a Pikachu or Tekasera. Hopefully I got to, hopefully to find Tekasera. Um, I actually didn't get to find Tekasera, but I found two other um, uh, genus in the same Polysera. Uh, family, which is Polysera and uh, Plocomophyrus. So that uh, those two are quite cool. Um, the Plocomophyrus, I think I've I've shared the video to you earlier before, 
and there's also Polycera sp, not only one species but two Polycera sp as well, living in the very same uh, hydroid species that you might potentially find um, the Pikachu. So it was a very great find. I really like all of these species, and then that's pretty much it of the dive. I found like tons of sea slug. I mean, I think like this is probably one of the best um, dive I've done in Got Yang. It like. Throughout the season, like I went down, boom, 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 boom. I went up, uh, and non-stop finding new species um, throughout the dive. So that was a pretty great dive, and so I really recommend Got Yang uh, in in Lipe. Hopefully, Lipe is an island that you know it opens all year round. So if you feel like you want to just go and explore uh, macro, Lipe is your place to try, and Got Yang is definitely one of the dive sites that you definitely um, should go visit. Anyway, try to check it out. Um, I hope this clip is useful for you and give you a little bit more colors of like what I did, um, how I how I dove, and what I found, and how I found uh, those kind of species. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again in the next video from I Slug You.